Hello and welcome. Great to have you along here for the NBA on 2K Sports. Monday Hoops coming up. It'll be DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings facing off against Dwight Howard and the Los Angeles Lakers. And that's it for us in the studio. To call all the action, let's go out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll see you again at halftime. It's a Western Conference game on display featuring the Sacramento Kings. With Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, I'm Kevin Harlan, bringing you the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Along with Doris Burke, who will be joining us courtside moments from now. And brought to you by State Farm, here's a quick look at our starting lineups. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, the developing DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, there aren't many players with the combination of size and strength and skill as DeMarcus Cousins. He's a great rebounder, he can pass, he can knock down a jump shot. So this kid can do it all, it's just a matter of putting it all together. I agree, and with his length, you might want him to be more of a shot blocker, Steve, but he's one of the best in the league at taking charges, and that's surprising for a guy of his size. You know, the Lakers weren't quite as dominant as they were in 2010-11, but it wasn't because of how they played against the West. They, they really did a nice job against their conference rivals. And World Peace kicks to Kobe. Back to World Peace. Six on the shot clock. He feeds it to Nash. This one for three. That's good. Nash has got the first basket of the game for the Lakers. 32 and 16 was their end mark of the season against the West. The Lakers certainly showed they can play with every team that was a contender out there. And, and, and they were tough, but it, it just at the end, it just did not come together. Well, nonetheless, winning two out of every three games you play in conference action is a good recipe for finishing near the top of the standings. The Lakers would have loved to have been that number one seed, but they didn't get it. It wasn't because of how they played in the West, though. It was, I think, that they were the third seed in the uh, Western Conference, mm -hmm. as it turned out. The shot's good from oh, Gasol. Gasol. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, Pete Smart gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. Obviously, he has a lot on his plate when it comes to defending against Kobe Bryant. I asked him what he might do, and he said, not much. He's one of the league's all-time best scorers. And no matter what you seem to do, he finds ways to get on the scoreboard. Kobe might be seeing a lot of double teams here tonight, guys. And as always, Doris, thank you. Well, if you're a basketball fan, you remember Keith Smart hitting the game-winning jump shot for Indiana back in the 1987 Final Four. And went on to have a long career as an assistant coach in the league and now doing a nice job as the main man in Sacramento. And then Cousins with the dunk. Look at that effort. Does he set a great example out there or what? On plays like that, he does. Sure, what, what work on the offensive glass we see with him. Yeah, that was awesome. Put back with the slam. Are you kidding me? And Coach Smart likes to keep in touch with his players off the court using text messaging to check in with them often. Well, that's the way you got to do it these days. I mean, you know, you got to take advantage of modern technology and, and be able to relate to your players, whether it's online social networking or whatever it is. I mean, you, you've got to be able to connect uh, with your players as a coach on some level, and that's uh, a good way for Coach Smart to do it. Here's Brooks following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Cousins with a screen on Nash. 
Brooks with it. Guarded now by Nash. Gets it to go. Cousins has got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this club. World Peace, the pass to Howard. Stolen by Evans. Thornton against Nash. The 11-footer and the basket by Thornton. Thornton's got his first basket. Marcus Thornton, a natural scorer with deep range. Second-round pick out of LSU. He has been instant offense in this league right from the beginning of his rookie season. Kings and Tyreek Evans is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the officials. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Jamison comes in for Pau Gasol. And Matt Barnes is subbed in for Metta World Peace. That is good. Jamison. He will fight you down low, guys. Really battles in there. He comes up with a lot of second chance buckets. Brooks with it. Guarded now by Nash. And Thornton kicks to Cousins. Shoots. Rebound the Lakers. And Marcus Thornton at 6'4". A little undersized for that two-guard position. Yeah, and that may hold him back a little bit defensively, Kevin. But he's strong. And I think he's got the capability to be a solid defender. And we've seen him show that he's got tremendous potential as a scorer. He can really put the ball in the basket from deep or off the dribble getting to the lane. Good from Barnes. You know, he's an effort player, Kevin, a guy who competes defensively, willing to take on the opponent's best player. He runs the floor a little bit erratic at times, uh, but very scrappy, and you know what he's going to bring in terms of energy. Yeah, he plays with an aggressive mentality, does a great job on the boards. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. How Gasol's checked in for Howard. Jody Meeks comes in for Kobe, and Steve Blake is subbed in for Steve Nash. Well, it's an interesting year, to say the least, for the Kings last season. Keith Smart took over as head coach, did a decent job of riding the ship. Uh, but Sacramento has struggled for years now. They've got some good young talent, but it's very young. This is a raw ball club. They've got to start to add some veterans, get some stability with their organization, with their situation in the city of Sacramento and within their roster. So a lot of work ahead for the Kings. The Kings trail by three. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the first. Thomas kicks to Robinson. Back to Thomas. And there's the rejection. They retain possession. You see it is just the Fredette. Outside Robinson. Down low. And there's Fredette. That's good on the assist by Robinson. Fredette's got five now. Lakers have gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. He dishes it to Gasol. Turn around Jay. Shot is blocked. Right side, Thomas. Shot denied. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game for the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by one. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. Lakers ahead, up by one. And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. Hey, Isaiah Thomas was a real surprise last year. The rookie out of Washington stands only five foot nine. A little bit like fellow Husky Nate Robinson. Not quite as explosive as Robinson, but probably a little more effective offensively. Good passer, good decision maker, and can really score. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So for the Lakers right now, Kobe Bryant and Metal World Peace filling out the wings. 
Pat Barnes is out there with help. And it's Nash in at the point guard position. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, guys, I think it's accurate to call the Dwight Howard situation a saga, and it has at least for the moment calmed down. A trade to the Los Angeles Lakers has now thrust them squarely into the championship picture. First, the acquisition of star point guard Steve Nash, and now the best center in the league. The tough Western Conference just got tougher. Kevin? The story of the offseason, no question. Thank you, Doris. And going back to Isaiah Thomas and his similarities to Robinson, they're both very solidly built. Yeah, well put together. I mean, as physically wide as they are tall and really dynamic athletes. Defensively, you might shoot over the top of them, but you're not necessarily going to push him around. He's strong, and he's got a nice competitive edge. Excellent job carving out space under the glass to make that putback possible. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. World Peace, the pass to Jameson. And good on the basket. Book it. The Kings trailing. Fredette with it. He's got five. On its way from Thornton for two. Rebounded by the Lakers. You know, not a lot of people knew what to make of the Lakers last season. I mean, first year with Mike Brown as the head coach, an aging group, a maturing group, if you will. But they showed they still have that Laker magic at times. Evans kicks to Thornton. The basket good off the assist from Evans. Thornton's got his third bucket of the night. Great matchup here. This game has gone back and forth. Multiple lead changes, just a great game, guys. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. After the Lakers, they struggle at times, but by the end of the season, Steve, they look just as good as any team in contention for the title. Well, you knew that, uh, you know, it was going to take some time uh, with the new coach as they put everything together. Uh, but defensively, that team was really good all season long. Offensively, they had their growing pains, but by the end of the year, I thought they had kicked it into gear pretty well. Here's Blake. Passes it to Kobe. And that one's good. Kobe's got seven points in the game. I can imagine they're going to hear an earful about this next stop. I mean, that's three straight field goals given up right in the middle of the lane. Inexcusable. Well, defense starts at the rim. I mean, you want teams shooting the ball from the outside, and that's not happening. They're just giving up everything inside. Robinson backs down. Down to five on the shot clock. Garcia. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. You know, another great season for Kobe Bryant last year. He actually traveled to Germany in the offseason for special treatment to his knee and his ankle. What he said made a huge difference in his ability to play without pain. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for the Lakers. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Barnes dishes to Meeks. Over Hayes. Again, the Lakers. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Steve, you mentioned that special treatment overseas that Kobe went through. Some friends said that he had been contemplating retirement prior to the treatment. He felt so good. He said, I'm going to play another two, three, four years. Well, he's on record as saying he doesn't want to keep playing if he can't dominate and be dominant. So the injuries held him back more than he's let on, but the treatments have actually made him feel better. The Kings trail by three. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Fredette kicks to Robinson. Kicks it to Garcia. Takes a three. And another three for Sacramento. Well, another uncontested three there. They've got to make some kind of an adjustment. I mean, they're giving up way too many open threes. Well, the last five hoops, three have come off wide open three-pointers, Clark. So it's one thing to give up one, but you start giving three-pointers up in bunches, you're in big trouble. And World Peace backs down. Meeks feeds it to Blake. Barnes passes to Gasol. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. 
know, he may lack grace, but his length makes up for it. He can still throw it down. There. Well, you don't have to be a fantastic leaper when you're his size. Well, it's too bad because with a little more athleticism, can you imagine how dangerous he'd be underneath the boards? And Sacramento has possession after the basket by the Lakers. And here's Fredette from beyond the arc. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. The pass to Blake. The dish to World Peace. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Guarded by Garcia. Little turnaround. And World Peace with the basket on the assist by Blake. And it's a four-point Laker lead. And here is Thomas. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Takes the three. Garcia's shot is good. It's a big mistake not having more defensive pressure on him out there. 34 seconds left here in the second. Here's Blake. Six to shoot. Dishes it to Barnes. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Again, the Lakers. Didn't get off to much of a start early on, but he seems to have shaken off the rust here in the quarter. Now Thomas. Thomas off a pick from Hayes. And here's Fredette from beyond the arc. That one falls coming off of Thomas's feet. Not much resistance for him after that pick, Kevin. I mean, he had all sorts of space to hit the shot. Meeks outside. No luck. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And coming up after the break, it'll be David Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. Good evening. The halftime break is upon us, and let's get right to the first half recap. The Lakers have been battling, having their way on offense, and that may be an understatement. They simply can't miss. Their top scorer, Kobe Bryant. And what a game from Al Gasol as well. But you know, also, the Kings came to play. They've dialed in from long range an incredible shooting performance from outside. Jimmer Fredette playing impressively so far. He may be coming off the bench, but the way he's playing, he might crack that starting five before too long. And that'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Second half is just around the corner. Thanks so much for stopping by. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. Yeah, give him credit. He's been very selective with his shots, and it's paying off for him and his team. You know, he's taken exactly what the defense has given him, and he's not forced anything. And that's exactly how you should play the game, in my opinion. On the court right now for the Kings, Evans and Thompson make up the forwards. Horton out there with Brooks, and it's Cousins, and at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. Now here's Kobe, following the shot by Evans. And World Peace backs down. Lifts up, and he lays it straight in. World Peace has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Lakers. You know, one indicator that your team is in trouble is when you give up a lot of easy baskets inside. It's exactly what happened to Sacramento last year. They could not stop anybody in the paint. Now here's Evans from deep Horton. Rebounded by Howard. The Lakers in the lead. Nash outside. Pass to Kobe. Left side, Kobe over Thornton. And another basket for the Lakers. Look at the end of the year rankings for opponents' points in the paint as Steve was just talking about. Sacramento and the Charlotte Bobcats, Clark, finished as the bottom two by some margin. Yeah, and it's strange in that the Kings have some sides inside, but they don't play very big, Kevin. That's a mindset and an attitude that has to change. Timeout called by the Kings. Over the last 10 years, the Pacific Division has been through its ups and downs, but the Lakers were able to once again win it by simply being too much for their fellow Pacific teams. 
right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Rebounded by Howard. Changing sides didn't seem to help them at all, huh, guys? They've missed their first three shots in the third quarter. Going back to the Pacific Division, the Clippers improved, but the Lakers still showed who the champs of the division were with another title speed. Yeah, they finished with a 9-5 and five mark in the Pacific Division. Only Phoenix matched that record. Uh, but, you know, some teams in the Pacific are starting to improve, particularly the Clippers. But the Lakers seem to be the team to beat uh, going forward. But that's not going to last forever. And Thornton kicks to Evans. Back to Thornton. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the Lakers making a change here. Jamison's checked in. And the Kings also making a change. Robinson's checked in. Brooks kicks to Thornton, lets it go from deep. No luck. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked really strong and together. Yeah, very aggressive, too. Keeping the defense off balance with their ball movement. I like the way they look. And a breakout season last year for Thomas Robinson in Kansas. He went from playing behind the Morris Twins as a sophomore to suddenly averaging 18 points and 12 boards as a junior, leading the Jayhawks all the way to the NCAA championship game. Here's Nash. Sacramento able to drain the three. Oh! And Dwight Howard again. Howard's got his second basket of the night. That's the way to work the ball in close to the hoop guy. Nash against Brooks. Evans. He kicks to Thornton. Robinson a screen on Kobe. Rejected by Kobe. Out of bounds. King's ball as Sacramento keeps possession. Meta World Peace. He's checked in for Pau Gasol. Jason Thompson. He's checked in for the Kings. Hayes comes in for Robinson. One forty-nine left in the third. Four on the shot clock. Thompson backing down. Fade away. Rebound by Antoine Jamison. And going back to Thomas Robinson out of Kansas, he's overcome a lot over the last year or so, Clark. A, uh, a real touching story. Yeah, very much so. Actually, I was courtside after he lost his mom, and prior to that, Kevin, he had lost his grandparents as well over a three-week period. It was just devastating. She'd been a single parent, and Robinson had to think about his nine-year-old sister and her well-being while also competing for his teammates. Very much a heart-wrenching situation, but he's shown tremendous strength of character through it all. Uh, if he gets a glimpse of an opening, he's going to take it right to the rim. Now, here's Nash. World peace with a screen for Nash. He passes to Kobe. Jamison, covered by Hayes. And World Peace kicks to Howard. Back to World Peace. Good. World Peace has got four points in the quarter. That's four of their last five buckets now coming in the paint area. And they're in attack mode right now, barreling in there with bad man intention. Now, here's Thompson. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Evans attacking. And he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. Antoine Jameson picks one up. I thought last season was a better year for Tyreek Evans. He bounced around a little bit position-wise, uh, but he became better defensively and uh, did a nice job for Sacramento creating shots for other people. And the first one at the line is good. And for Tyreek Evans regarding his work defensively, it has to help with a, a great veteran, I would think, and the defender like Chuck Hayes, Clark, on the team. Yeah, we all need mentors, and in basketball, you need veteran guys that show you how to get things done at both ends of the floor as you're a young, developing player. And Chuck Hayes is a terrific example for a guy like Tyreek Evans to follow. And Tyreek Evans is so tough to cover one-on-one. -on -one. He's strong, he's quick, great ball handler, and able to get by most defenders. I, I think the question with Evans is whether he can improve that outside shot. So it, can he... Can he Get to the point where that stroke is really consistent. That's the question. Fredette kicks to Thomas. There's the feed to Cousins. 
He feeds it to Fredette. There's the triple. And it's sent back by Kobe. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. He's getting better offensively as the game goes along, making good choices and getting high percentage shots. And they're playing hard and playing smart, too, Steve. Um, they've just been very, very good. Five seconds left to play in the third. Here's Brooks. Can't hit. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Lakers lead by 10. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? Well, Kevin, our uncontainable game in this one, the stretch by the Lakers. They closed out the first half with an incredible effort, and that second quarter surge looks to be the difference for them as they head to the fourth with the lead. Great. Thanks, Doris. And a very important turning point in this was when they started to gather that steam and really started rolling, guys. Yeah, no question, Kevin. And that run changed the entire feel of this game. And it wasn't just their offense that made it happen. The stops they were making defensively played just as big a role. And right at the start of that run, fellas, you could see the sudden injection of energy that went through the whole team. Then it was game on. A star-studded backcourt of Nash and Kobe. The incredible post duo of Powell and Dwight together inside. And it's Barnes in at the three side. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Brooks. Here's Thompson. Stuffs it through. Well, one of the reasons I like Jason Thompson is he's not afraid to be physical inside. He loves to chase down loose balls, get offensive rebounds, constantly fighting his opponent for position. Yeah, very much a workmanlike approach to playing in the post from Thompson. He just puts in his time each game and comes away with some nice numbers. Here's Kobe. The Kings getting the bucket. No good from 18. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually he'll hurt you if you give him that kind of a shot. Brooks kicks to Thornton for three. And the rebound goes to Howard. Howard's got five rebounds tonight. Nash drives in. He dishes it to Kobe. Over Thornton. Kobe with the bucket. Oh, boy. boy, he's been so cool out there. Composed. Never rattled. I mean, a very steady contributor to the offense. Timeout called by the Kings. How about the irony for the Kings last year? They drafted Jimmer Fredette high in the first round, and then they get Isaiah Thomas with the last pick in the draft. And it turns out that Thomas is the one who ends up taking over the starting point guard role. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Pete Smart was saying to his team. He didn't exactly take it easy on them, saying, how much do you want it? Don't tell me. Show me out there. We have to play better. We have to play harder if we're going to come back. You guys? And for the Kings, a team just doing everything they can do to find a difference maker on the floor and they can care less that they found their point guard. Late in the draft, early in the draft, they just, just want to find a point guard. Well, if you have game that will travel and will show through, and with Jimmer and Thomas manning the backcourt, the Kings have some pretty good talent in those two players that can give them different looks at the point guard spot. Hayes, no good. Lakers leading by 12. Nash, left side. Gets it to go. And they keep going right back to the paint. And who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Yeah, three of their last five buckets, guys, have come from inside the lane area. So I'd expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. Evans dishes to Hayes. He got right to the cup using that screen. Came off the screen and did what I call a right now move, right to the rim. The defense had no time to recover. And the Lakers call time here. 
Well, there's some very popular destinations for free agents around the league. Chicago, New York, Miami. But for me, the Lakers are still the premier market for players. You know, big city, a history of winning with the Laker organization, and fantastic weather, of course. Matt Barnes has checked in for Meta World Peace. And the Kings also making a change. Thompson's checked in. Lakers have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Gasol kicks to Nash. Back to Gasol. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. And, Steve, to follow up on your point, the whole aspect of Hollywood has always been a big lure for the Lakers as far as recruiting Clark free agents. We've seen it over the years with all the big names they've gotten assigned in free agency. No doubt about it, the Lakers are still one of those destination teams for a lot of players in the league. And he makes the first. Boy, you have to feel a little sorry for Kings fans. I mean, you think about what they've been through the last year or so. It looked like the team was all set to move to Anaheim. That fell through. Then there was a reprieve for Sacramento. They thought they had an exciting new arena deal. That fell apart, and now it's kind of back to square one. Nobody seems to know what's going to happen with this Kings franchise. Just a roller coaster ride for Sacramento and Kings fans. Steve, you're right, really. What I imagine the team wants is just to have some certainty of where their future is. You know, Clark, that's a big thing for any town, any team. Without question, Kevin. Anytime there's rumors swirling about a team as to where it's going to be located, it can't be good for anybody associated with the organization, especially the players. Brooks misses. And that's the way it's been. A big margin for them in the rebounding category. You know, sometimes you got to get down and dirty and do the dirty work. And, and this one, they've done it, and it's paid off on the scoreboard in a big way. 13 feet away. And it's sent back by Kobe. Nash against Brooks. Pass to Kobe. Kicks to Barnes. Just five to shoot. And there's the saw. That's good on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got three assists tonight. Well, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up. Inside, in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. And the Lakers making a change here. World Peace has checked in. That free throw good from Gasol. Wow, what a turnaround from the line this half. Not one foul shot missed yet. But when you have the lead and you're trying to close out games, you've got to make free throws, and that's exactly what they're doing. Now here's Brooks. Feeds it to Thornton. Back to Brooks. Brooks right side. A three. That's good. That's all the space he needs, guys. He'll make you pay every time if you give him that shot. 102 left in the game. Lakers leading by 14. Makes the alley -oop pass. Deflected. Gasol, no good. That's what they call the million dollar move with the 10 cent finish. Here's Evans. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would see it. No question about it. That would be all she wrote. Kobe goes in. Gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by 14. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. Floats a runner. And it's Evans missing. Lakers have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Nash with it. Oh, 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 oh. 
And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. It was full throttle from the start. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, Kobe Bryant.